Uh, my name is Jenny Davis. I'm a customer service representative for Standard Life and also a semi-pro cyclist. Well, I work in the endowments area for Standard Life um, and basically we're the kind of front line for all the customers. What helped me get the job in here was the, the work experience that I gained during and after I left university. I uh, did health psychology at uni. It served me in other aspects of my sporting life, um, but in terms of a career, it's probably not somewhere that I want to eventually end up in. I seem to have a, a bit of a spark for, for different marketing stuff, so um, hopefully when the opportunity is right, Standard Life will be able to help me shift into the career that I've shown some uh, aptitude for over the last couple of years. I was kind of middle of the road with my with my grades. I got all the hires that I wanted. Um, I wasn't a grade, grade A student. Got on well with all my teachers um, and, and did all right. At the time, I just wasn't sure what I wanted to do. Um, I worked in the local spa shop uh, through until I would think I was 16. When I finished school, I worked in Argos for a year. And then when I was at university, um, I worked for VisitScotland.com, which is the tourist board for Scotland. My mum's a teacher. My dad's a, used to be an engineer for BT. They've been very, very supportive of me, um, but they've let myself and my sisters make our own decisions, make our own mistakes. Because I've been doing sports since I was a young age, I'm quite a focused individual. I had lots of ups and downs. I think one of the first things the club coaches at my uh, cycling club said to me was get ready to lose a lot because you have to learn your trade with it and the bike doesn't have any brakes and it doesn't have any gears and there's a lot of fast people on the velodrome. I, I really, really like pushing it on all levels. <laughs> um, pushing for success is a big motivation for me. So went out to Delhi, I set uh, three goals, do all personal bests in the three events that I had, uh, come back with a medal in the team sprint discipline and go fast enough that GB would put me on their squad as a kind of fast track athlete for London. Out of the three I set, two of them I achieved, one of them I didn't, but I reassessed and arranged to do a, a GB trial with the national coach six months after Delhi. If it doesn't work out for London, we've got the Commonwealth Games in Glasgow in 2014. Well, I, I train six days a week with one day off and my sessions are, say, 45 minutes to an hour and a half, depending on what I'm doing. So it's not because I'm a, a sprint-based athlete. Fortunately, all my events are nice and short. <laughs> right up until probably eight weeks before Delhi, I didn't have any funding. I had a 300 pound bike that when I put full gas through, creaked. Um, and I was like thinking, is this gonna snap? <laughs> Once it had kind of been confirmed that I had been selected for Delhi, my company Sander Life stepped in and they were able to provide the funding for me um, to be able to purchase the, the bike. and any other additional equipment that I had or that I needed at the time. And the support I've had for my own career and my cycling career from Standard Life, I couldn't have asked for any more. I get a really good response from everyone in the office and right from like people in my office that I work with on a daily basis right up to, to the chief exec. The prospect of having a Commonwealth Games in Scotland is is huge for all the, the UK athletes, but the Scottish athletes in particular. There's going to be three opportunities for me to get medals in Glasgow, and, and I want to be pushing f for gold in at least one of them so that I can sing the national anthem for Scotland with a full velodrome with Scottish people in it. Um, so that's a big incentive for me to, to stay in the sport.